What did this do to your music? Well, I think it definitely made me get into music in the first place, you know. I think, um, it's funny, I'm reading an Al Rogers book at the moment, and he had a lot of family troubles, a lot more than me. <laughs> like, he had some really legitimate, insane ones with, like, junky parents and all that kind of stuff. But I think he, he, one thing he said that I could really relate to is, like, he said that he used to sing a lot just to stop himself getting lonely and shit, you know? So, like, I remember, like, being a kid, my mum had to work a lot after my dad was gone. And uh, so a lot of the time I spent, and my village was very small, there wasn't many kids my own age, so I used to be on my own a lot. I used to just sort of live in a fantasy in a way. I think that's kind of why I got into music at all. Because uh, people like Prince, for example, one of my idols, he seemed to exist in another world, you know, and that was very appealing to me because the world I came from, it didn't seem like very like rich or, you know, it seemed like so empty to me. Yeah. And, and like the world he was talking about or living in just seemed like a really magical zone, you know, like really like, like, like it was uh, luxurious and, uh, you know, it was charged with sex too, which I think I was also just kind of curious, starting to get curious about and had no real way to explore, you know. So it's, it's funny when you're, like I say, I'm now older now, I can look back at that time and go, oh shit, I was doing that, you know, I was trying to find this and like, uh, no wonder that was so appealing and all that. But I mean, it really did. I'm, I'm glad it was Prince because on a musical level, he just introduced me to so much yeah. heritage from George Clinton to Sly Stone and all the things that make him who he is, you know. So, yeah. And can you say that, well, the music has never uh, left you, betrayed you? I don't think it has. It's funny, another thing, we were just reading that Keith Richards book, you know, he was talking about his drugs and battling with all that, and he was saying that like, music is like a drug that he could never kick, you know? Like an addiction he couldn't ever really share it. And I can really relate to that. It's kind of exactly how it feels to me. Um, I, no, I will, all the time I think, I'm gonna go into the studio, I'll make some sounds, and I'll just be like, oh, it's just some sounds. You know, but every time I hear something or like I start singing, it starts all over again, like a new obsession. Like, yeah, I hear something different. It's like, what? You know, you'd think you'd get bored, but you don't get bored at breakfast. You know, that's kind of what I've been thinking recently. I always look forward to breakfast every single day. I'm almost 40, so I've had a lot of breakfast. So it's like that with music, it's kind of like food. I like food. Never get bored. Ne never bored. <laughs> it's always uh, tasty. It's good. Um, no, the album is called Jamie Lydell, mm -hmm. a self-titled album. Yeah. Uh, when did you decide to, to uh, name this album after yourself? It was pretty recent, actually. Um, I had a couple of other names that, you know, what was happening? It was like, I don't know, naming things. It's a weird process. Naming kids, naming, some people name their house, you know. Um, animals, whatever. And naming an album is always a bit of a weird process for me. Usually I, I take a track, it sticks, it feels good. Multiply felt right, Compass felt right, for example. On this album, it didn't really seem to work. And it just didn't, you know what it was? I, I felt like I've really achieved a lot with this record. It's an ambitious record. Like, and um, it's a really important part of my like story. So I was like, all right, well, it needs to be an ambitious name. You know, when someone else came with the idea, like, oh, I want to self-title it then, because it's about as ambitious as it can be. And I was like, it, I, my, my initial thought was like, no, it's too, it's weird to do that, because, you know, it's too late in my career to start doing that. But then I thought, well, why? Who says, you know, who makes these rules, you know? Mm -hmm. I've never been one, really, for rules. So I was like, uh, all right, I like that, because it's ambitious, and the record's really ambitious. So uh, it stuck, you know. I went with it, even though it felt a bit weird in the beginning. I like that. 